Hey, you guys. How are you enjoying the exhibit? Great. It's lots of fun. Ari, where are you from? I'm in Bermuda right now. Cool. Okay. I can pass the microphone to you. Yes, uh, sir. Krista. Okay, Krista, tell me a little bit about what we've got here, because Ari obviously isn't here, so how is this working? Ari is using a Beam Pro, which is made by Suitable Technologies. It is a mobile telepresence system, which allows Ari from her uh, laptop computer to control the beam, its path, as well as be able to see and speak with us here in Tampa, Florida. So you're not actually controlling this at all. It's Ari is doing this, Correct. Right? I Hands off here. Cool. Okay, so you, can you t uh, move a little bit more, Ari? Back up and move around. Fantastic. Okay, so this is, you imagine this as being used for what, Ari? How do you see people using this? So basically, if you cannot physically be present somewhere, you can use this device to facilitate your presence. So it feels very natural. Right now, I feel like I'm talking to you. It's a very casual, flowy conversation. If you can feel static uh, with a computer attached to the wall or with you having to show me a limited space. Right. I can move about this space and experience as if it was there. Right. So can you show me what you see? Absolutely. This is what I see on my end. So you're, you can look down. You've got sort of a fisheye view. You can see behind you. Not directly behind because this is extending my presence, my human presence, and we cannot see in the back of our head. Right. But I see as much as I would see in person. So the so fish eye and then a little bit of the food. Right. So you can avoid whacking into people, right? Yeah. As you can see the bottom camera, right. I have some guidelines there where I cannot go. I have some bright. And does this have any kind of LiDAR system that can alert you to um, obstacles as well or is it just visual for you? Yeah, the knob on my base that you see, the gray knob, that's LiDAR. Right. Yeah. So how do you get signals from that, that where things are? That's automatic. So if something gets too close to me or someone, the LiDAR will dramatically drop the speed of the beam. Okay. And Krista? Yes. Uh, this, one of the things that really uh, strikes me about this is if you were paraplegic or quadriplegic, this would give you a uh, sense of motion that you didn't have and a sense of freedom that you didn't have, right? Absolutely. I think that's the application that has been the most impactful for me is right. to provide people who have had such limited mobility uh, control to decide their path. I mean, to have that freedom of choice right. as well as to be at eye level for the first time, not sitting in a wheelchair or being in a bed. It gives them this freedom of movement, which is really and Have you tried amazing. this with somebody who is mobile, uh, not, uh, not mobile? Yes, yeah, so we have a whole group that we work with, um, Robots for Humanity, right. and it's a group of quadriplegics who uh, test out technology and just try to push the envelope and what it can do for accessibility. Right. So Ari, how much does a system like this cost? If somebody wanted to buy it or rent it or however you mad imagine the business case for it. Well, the retail price for Bean Pro starts at $13,950. Right. But we have a great program for museums and education, and Chris has more details about that. So that's an annual fee of just under 5000 and that includes everything for the system. So it's a year to year, and as this technology improves and new versions come out, the museum could upgrade their system. Okay. Great. Okay, I'll let you guys carry on with your day if you want to head off. Thanks All very right. much. Thanks.